Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream on Thursdays where we do kind of whatever I want. Um, today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy X, but before that I just want to say welcome to everybody. Thumper, hey, welcome. So glad to have you back. Oh, we're going to be naming an Aeon this time, Thumper, so we definitely need some more name suggestions for the next one. Um, and Yashoma Drew, I'm so glad you were able to find my content. So happy to have you here. Um, <laughs> Oh, good. So all we had to have to do to get Thumper back in the Thursday stream is say that she gets, they get to name something. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Thumper graces us with their presence. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> well, this is our last one of the um, like required Aeons that we have to get, but uh, there's other optional ones. So we'll see. We might get a few more. We're definitely going to get one today. Um, how have you guys been doing? How has your week been? <laughs> uh, my week has been, you know, it's been. Um, the the kittens, the kittens are getting bigger. The kittens are getting bigger. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, if you don't want to know what I'm talking about when I say that, then you need to get in my Discord and see the daily pictures of the kitten beans. Oh my god. I just tested the bot and it was working, and now it wants to not work again. Let me fix that real quick. Let me just fix that real quick. Oh my gosh, Kendra is here. Kendra is here, y'all. Okay, let's try that again. Board? No. Let me try turning it off and back on again. That's what fixed it last time. I had a whole stream where it was down because I didn't know how to freaking fix it. But then I tested this and it, it worked. Let's see. Oop, I typed it wrong. Oh my freaking... My... Mm, oh my good gracious. There we go. Now it's working. All right. Um, my name is actually Yes Homo Drew. Oh! <laughs> I get it now. I was thinking, like, I don't know, my brain, like, pushed it together, like, um... Like, in my mind, it was something close to Seshomaru, but, like, Seshomu Drew, right, <laughs> from Inuyasha. So, in my mind, I was like, oh, it's something like like that. Maybe it's some other anime character, and I don't know them, because it seemed kind of like Seshomaru. <laughs> that probably, like, really super dated myself. But maybe not, because since there's the remake of that. Uh, no worries, Kendra. No worries, Kendra. I have to have the bot working, because we have to be able to, like, do our secret, our secret ones, you know? So, okay. Um, if you want to see the kitten pictures I'm posting every day, how they're doing, um, we have a week, a week and a day, a week and a day uh, for Coke's kittens. Um, I guess it's been four or five days now for CJ's kittens. So they're getting so big, y'all. After the first week, kittens double in size. I didn't know that. I've never seen newborn newborn kittens before because we always get our animals fixed so quickly. So I had no idea. I had no idea, but it's been absolutely crazy um, raising them and stuff. Unfortunately, the, uh, the one of the mama cats, Coke, is really not getting along with our cats. I mean, they weren't super getting along before, but now that she has babies, like they're really not getting along. So um, we had to make one of the rooms a kitten maternity ward and so they're all in the kitten maternity ward right now so that they don't attack each other <laughs> um which means that uh, we will not get visits from coker cj today on the baby cam but i think i think yeah queen is across from me so if you guys want to see one of the babies um today on the baby cam queen is here with us today and re of course is by my feet um, you could request for her to, I'll move the camera if y'all want to see Re, but right now it's set up so that Queen will be in the camera if you guys want to do that down in the channel points. <clears throat> yeah, this really is my first baby cat experience. We typically even adopt, like, adult animals, you know, just because, like, it's easier <laughs> and cheaper. <laughs> and, um, so, you know. I don't think house cats do the lion thing with their new heat but protect the bad. Yeah, and it's CJ gets along with the other cats fine, but Coke does not. So this isn't like they all of a sudden started squabbling. Like, they clearly didn't like each other before, but now, like, they were actually getting into fights. So not have that. We cannot have that. 
yeah, adopting adults is so much easier. So that's what we typically do. Um, typically would not get an animal that's under six months of age, at least six months, if not a whole year or older. So um, this has been a whole experience. They're still like just little cat beans, like they don't have personalities or anything yet, but they're they're very, very cute. Um, do both mamas like each other? The, the mamas are fine with each other. The mamas are siblings. So these two cats that, that came in um, to our house pregnant, we actually, they were born last February. So the February right before everything shut down for the pandemic. So um, that's that's when they were born. And because we have we have a lot of neighborhood stray cats. So um, we've actually got these two in particular. We've always been very friendly. So we played with them and fed them sometimes and stuff like that. So we've actually known these cats for over a year. It's just they all of a sudden decided to run into the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt has realized where we are in relation to you and is having second thoughts. No second thoughts, Matt. Road trip to the East Coast to come get some kittens. <laughs> we had some litters where siblings decided to not like each other when they got to like six months. Oh, no. Well, this the litter that they're from had like five or six cats in it. And those other cats have all moved on. And these two sisters stayed in the neighborhood. So... Maybe they didn't get along with other siblings. I have no idea. Karen Winwood. Uh-oh. When would the kittens be ready for pickup? Okay, so I do have a date. Um, let me just look at a calendar and make sure because I don't want to lie to you guys on accident. Don't want to lie on accident. Okay, so the weekend that's like June 4th, 5th, and 6th, that's when they are ready. So if you want to make sure you get one of these kittens, you need to come that weekend, that um, June 4th, 5th, or 6th, because I'm first come, first serve. I just want to keep it easy. We need the kittens taken, and we need both moms to have homes, too. We only want to keep, like, one of the kittens. And I, because they don't even have personalities yet, I couldn't even tell you which one or anything like that. So um, just basically, if you want to get a kitten, please come that weekend and get one. We're not going to keep them for very long after that. Um they're going to go to the SPCA because we just, we don't have the resources to take care of that many cats. We don't have the time or the money. So if you want to make sure you get one, then please come on that particular, that weekend. I'm going to try an apartment in June and my cat needs a friend. Your cat does need a friend, Thumper. Please come get one. Um, I'm sure that CJ's in particular will be really chill. And both of these cats are very friendly towards people. The only one that's ha ever had an issue is Coke and Coke only had an issue with Queen and Ash that were already here. Coke has no issues with her sister. So that's what that is. Can't do that early in June, but if the kitten's left by the end of June, I can make a trip to get, oh, if I get this apartment. Okay, well, I will keep you updated, Thumper. We might could work something out. We'll see how it goes. Need all the cats. That's right, Kendra, just come get all of them. Name one Yumi. I'm not naming them. The people who get them can name them. Jane, I'm so happy you're here, by the way. Uh, sorry, it took me a second to get around to saying hi because I had to keep talking about the cats. <laughs> Kendra, okay, so this is the thing. The ideal number of cats in this household is two to three, and we have 12 right now. So I need help fixing this. I need your help. <laughs> Chickadee, I'm plotting your sibling. Yes, that's right, Chickadee. Get excited. Get excited. You're going to get a sibling. You're going to get a little sibling. <laughs> no, the ideal number is all. I mean, if I had infinite time and infinite funds, that would be wonderful. But um, unfortunately, I work 40 hours a week um, for, for a regular normal person wage. So <laughs> we have neither infinite funds or infinite time. In infinite space. I mean, infinite space would be wonderful. Yeah, I would definitely need a bigger house for uh, 12 cats. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, y'all. We can keep talking about this, but I'm actually going to go ahead and get the game started. As you know, there was no spare room episode last week um, because it's been insane. If you don't know the insane stories, then I would recommend going on my YouTube channel and watching um, the past couple of months of Thursday streams. That's where I talk about it mostly. Uh, all the craziness, the cats are part of the craziness, but also my roommate is still in the hospital because of complications with COVID. So no updates on that. Um, at this point, there's just too much craziness that's very personal to him that I can't really share with the internet. So um, no updates there. Unfortunately, I probably will not be able to give any updates until it's like, oh, he's home and however he's doing. So that's the short version. It's been crazy. If you want the full story, go watch the past several streams. I talk all about it. It's been going on for a month and a half now. All right, let's get into the game. Let's get into the game. We're going to play some more. 
Final Fantasy X. Do I have sound? I don't have sound, I don't think. Let's see. Oh no, I do have sound. Is that coming through? That is. Okay. Sweet. All right. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. The very first thing we are going to do is Cloister of Trials to get our new Aeon. This is the most annoying Cloister of Trials in this entire freaking game. But luckily I've played this game 20 times, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it as probably as quick as you can. Number what video is that? You know I cannot watch that right now. But I need, I need to know. I need to know what it is. <laughs> what have you linked to me, my friend? Okay, so I got to... Um... Okay, there we go. Now I know where I am. We go down. And I think we go... Yeah, we have to go down. Have to go down. We can't go left or right there yet. Isn't it wonderful how the temple in Bavel, where they're all against the Machina and everything, has all these freaking Machina in it? But other temples have not been like that. Craziness. Absolute craziness. Okay, so we gotta get that sphere. And then... Well, we don't need to... I just want to push you. I don't need to put it in the pedestal. Some guides will tell you to put it in the pedestal, but that's, like, pointless. You can just carry it. I don't know why some of the guides are worded that way. I assume someone wrote it at one point in time and then just everybody copied them or something. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go back up. Alright. Gotta get the left one. No, oh, I wanted the left one. This is annoying. Wait, I think I want the left one. Right? I want the left one? Yeah. Okay. I want the left one first. Not the right one yet. We'll do that one next. We gotta go back around. This is why this is a little annoying, because you have to like time it with where the arrows are flipping. It's very, it's very frustrating. I'm delighted this is going to be so funny. Yumi is chaos and Marie is nervous. <laughs> Marie is tragic. I love her so much. There we go. This one first. Eliza is making sure the dead butterfly is okay. <laughs> um, why don't you tell... Oh no, we do want to put this in here. We're going to grab you. Yeah, I did want to go the other way first. I can't remember exactly. Alright, we're gonna go to the other side next. I think I put that Bavel Sphere in there. Not that way. The other way. I meant to go the other way. Put this back. Oh, it is a Bavel Sphere. They're all Bavel Spheres, right? Yeah. Okay. So I can take this. It's Alright. Gotta go to the right side this time. Um... What, uh, what Eliza needs to do, Kendra, is, um, you know, a little eulogy for the butterfly so that it can fly on to the next life in the next world. <laughs> oh, they hatched. You know what, um, dang it, that's not the way I wanted to go. You know if, was, if it was, um, butterflies or moths or what kind the caterpillars were, Kendra? I, I never asked. I never asked for, um, I know she was raising those, but I never asked what kind they were. Okay, 
Try this again. Get it right this time. Oh, flip me around. Yeah. Now it's the left one. There we go. It goes slower that way. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Dead God and Tim are the three that she named. Monarch. Oh, Monarch Light. Oh, that's cool. See, when I was doing it as a kid, I was just catching caterpillars out of the yard and raising them. <laughs> uh, there was no... It wasn't like, um, you know, it wasn't like that. <laughs> I didn't, like, get a kit or anything. I was just literally stealing animals from the wild because um, I was a lovely child like that. <laughs> um, I have a narcissistic Pete problematic man with so many layers of bullshit and yet the Princess Leia with Jurassic Park parents is the disaster. I just think she's so, I just think she's so sympathetic. I don't know, she just like hits me. Like she hits me in that way that's like, oh my gosh, I love her so much. Okay, I'm pretty sure I go back down now. Oh. And then I can go left. Okay, and I gotta go to the last one first as I'm pretty sure how this works. Okay, so the way I do it is I just jam on the button. There we go. That's the only way I know to do this little section and get the right one. <laughs> just hit the button as fast as you can. And then you will you will get to turn. <laughs> Otherwise, it like doesn't work. Okay. If I put this in here. There we go. Now I can go across. Okay, but I don't have I need the destruction spear for that, which I don't have yet. So we go, you go like backwards, right? So I did the last one, so now I'm gonna do, go back around and like take the second one. Right. And we don't want the first one, we want the second one. The so same thing, I'm just gonna, dang it, missed it. Try again. <clears throat> and there should be another sphere that I need in that second one. I keep missing it. Oh, this is why I hate this temple. Why it takes so freaking long compared to the others. It's not like so much that I don't know how to do the puzzle. Because I've done it so many times. It's more like... Oh, it's hard to actually execute the puzzle. There we go. My mom and your kid would be so good. She's much better with little kids than she's with older ones. She used to volunteer at my elementary school, helping the ESL kids learn how to read. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I definitely think um, it's easier. I have a lot of easier time getting along with my parents as an adult than I did as a kid agree with that for sure. Okay. And I think I go back to the first one. You know, Karen likes the sci-fi designs. The sci-fi designs in what regard? I, mi I think I missed some of what y'all were saying. <laughs> um, I wish I could just push things in glowing circles and have them disappear. You know what? Me too, Kendra. That would be a whole mood. That's what um, that's what happens with a... Uh... Oh no, this is wrong. Okay, this is wrong. Gotta go back. The glyph sphere. Okay, I remember what I have to do. I have to put this in that destruction sphere slot. Right here. Let's just take all of this censor for political content and put it in a glowing circle. <laughs> Big mood thumper. Let's do it. I'm here for it. Okay, now I put this here and then I can get my destruction sphere. Me either, Thumper, me either. Oh my god. <sighs> the kids these days, like, 
I mean, I know that like like slang and trends and things move fast, but I feel like the internet has caused like teen trends and teen slang and these things to move like at a freaking li insane lightning pace, and um, I just can't. Like, I just can't. Okay. Now I have to put the destruction sphere where I just found that glyph sphere. Kendra, I'm glad somebody does. Every year that passes, I feel like I get more and more uh, old person in that regard. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like like the epitome of uh, what that My Chemical Romance song is talking about. Like, the teenagers scare the living shit out of me. They could care less as long as someone will bleed. Like, that's me. <laughs> They're great, let them do their thing away from me. Bingo. I don't need to be involved. Okay, and then I gotta go here. I don't need the Bavel Spear to be there anymore. Pretty sure I use that later. Cool. Come back to me, Bavel Spear. Oh man, when Eliza's old enough to have babysitters, I cannot wait for the stories your babysitter tells you when you come back home from that. <laughs> oh, the shenanigans. The absolute shenanigans. <laughs> Alright, now we go to the first intersection. And then we go down. So the stop here exists basically just for the mistake I made at first, if you accidentally go down here when you're not ready to yet, because once you're ready to, all you do is you just push it again. And then you keep going. Okay. And there we go. Then I don't I don't need this anymore, I don't think. No, maybe I do. I can't remember. Do I, oh yeah, I do need it. But we're gonna get this chest first. Gimme, give gimme give that HP sphere. Okay, then come back to me, pedestal. There we go. Mom is a pre-K teacher. And when Eliza told her about the different planets in our solar system is in the Milky Way, she about lost her whole mind. Wow, that is a lot. That is a lot for Eliza's age though, like, I understand. I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know if I knew about planets and stuff when I was that age. Maybe I did, because I watched Magic School Bus. And I had all the Magic School Bus books. And I had the Magic School Bus video games. Yes, there were Magic School Bus video games. <laughs> and I had them. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go ahead and equip that Knight's Lance we just got. That's for Kamari. This got some nice strength on it. And then I want to do my Aeons. I want to give... This is... No, not this. Abilities. I want to give Kisses Fire Up, because we should have gotten enough stuff from that last time. Yes. Okay, and I want to do my sphere grid before we move on. We did planets when she was two and a half, so it was old news for me. Oh, I see. I have no idea. I have no idea when I learned that. I mean, I know I was probably a bit older when I learned it in school, but I, I might have learned it on my own um, at home sooner. I really don't remember. It's kind of, it gets, it gets real fuzzy. It gets real fuzzy, you know. But I guess I might have. I don't remember when Magic School Bus came out or when I started to get those books. I remember I had the books first, and then they made a TV show, and we watched the hell out of that. And then they had video games too, and we bought a bunch of the video games. 
kids programming now is wild. I mean, it can't be as wild as like Barney. Like I was, so I was just barely too old enough to um, get into Barney, but like my sister in her age group was like, that was, that was like the height. And it was like, Barney was so, Barney was so weird. So like, I don't know. Kids programming, I think it's always been a little bit weird. It's super educational. I mean, it was kind of educational when we were kids too, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I guess if I think about like Blue's Clues and stuff, like that's not that educational. <laughs> okay, so Sphere Grid done. Let's let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's get out of here. Yuna? Inside maybe? Then what are we standing here for? That's right, Titus. Get him. Hey! Uh, you can stuff your taboos! Tell him. Not time for that, Waka. Nah, he hold the door. He hold the door for Titus. But you are close, Jane. What? What's that? A faith. They join with the summoner, and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. That kid from the beginning. The ghost kid is a faith. Yuna! Yes, Kendra. The dragon is definitely smash on the mash or pass scale. Wait! Don't come out! Uh oh. Too late. There's the last of them. You are to stand trial. <laughs> I expect it will be a fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. Big doubt. All right, guys, it's time. What are we naming our final Aeon, a uh, final required Aeon of the game? He's getting Mary Jane. <laughs> you know, wearing as much fabric as possible while being naked is a time honored Final Fantasy tradition. Yumi, name it Yumi. Derrida. <laughs> so we'll have, because we didn't really name the first one, he has just a standard name, Valifor. We have, um, we have, uh, Snuggles, Cuddles, and Kisses are our other Aeons. And then, um, Valifor is just Valifor, because we didn't, we didn't name him. So on the table right now is Yumi or Derrida. What do we think? I can make a poll with those two. Floofy? Floofy would fit the theme for sure. We can name him Floofy. He has no floof whatsoever, but that's okay. Princess? Remember, I'm waiting patiently for your idea. I know I know you must have one. They must have stepped away, y'all. They must have stepped away and they don't know that we're naming him now. <laughs> uh, Princess Floofy's too many characters. I cannot. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jane. Oh, Jane. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do a poll. Uh, yes. No? Open. There we go. What to name Bahamut? So, Luffy or Princess? Can I fit Princess? 
Yes, I we I can put it print. Okay. And we're gonna do one minute is the quickest I can do. We're gonna go flu for your princess. Vote. Let your opinion be known. What should we name Bahamut? Floofy or Princess? I think they both fit the theme that we've got going on so far. While y'all are doing that, I'm gonna hydrate up. Oh, I guess I can vote too. There we go. I cast a vote too. <laughs> I didn't realize it would let me. I don't think I've ever voted in my own poll the few couple of times that we've done these. I'm a pro Twitch streamer, y'all. <laughs> I definitely know what I'm doing. All right. I see what the winner is. I see what the winner is. It's only got a couple more seconds, but I can see how many people are in the stream. So it's clear it's going to be floofy. Okay. Woofy! There we go. Yes, let's go ahead and save. Let's save over this one. Okay. Let's go to trial. The Phoenix Wright can't save us now. Is now in session. The sacred offices of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Thank you for the expedition, Lulu. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon, true? Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Don't worry, we have a logical explanation. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. <gasps> he killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Haven't you heard? Not only that, Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. That's right. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead, hmm? Dun, dun, dun. You would have to send me to. Oh no. What? Poor Waka. Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. I don't think this is going to be a fair trial, y'all. passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... 
Are you telling me that too is futile? Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? Now you're just having a crisis of faith. Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Their rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Hmm. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Lord Micah! The heaven is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. No. <laughs> that can't be right! You yeah. know. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Lord Micah! Uh -oh. Ah! Ah! oh, Thumper! Get me out of here! I want out now! Oh, you missed it. I'm so sorry. We went with Floofy. You your breath. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? <sighs> Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, the spiral of death. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. Spira is a spiral. <sighs> <laughs> Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really now, what person would execute a dear friend? You would. You know, Thumper, there definitely is um, an Orin is gay um, headcanon in the fandom. Um, that's actually based on a scene that we are probably going to see at the end of this stream. I think we will get to it. So it's hilarious that you say that <laughs> in this stream. Like you're next. <laughs> yeah, next for what? Get going. Where's everybody else? Into the water with you. Floating down there somewhere, maybe. <laughs> you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you you could. I guess you could like sense it. Like you could sense that something, you know, that fandom would take as gay is was coming, and you just like, you know, like honed in on it. <laughs> That's our sentence. Think they expect us to give up and die down here? Oh, well, that's a yes. lame way to kill someone. Your sound what will be you perfect. Mean? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. So this is one of the few gripes I have with this game. This is supposed to be like this dungeon prison that you get dropped into. 
Why oh, does an exit yes, exist? So it seems my father's murder troubles him. Ever <laughs> 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 the answer. Hard-headed, hardly useful. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Brasco. She may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh. First your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, Emor only answers to death. Too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Very well, as you wish. Lady Yuna, forgive me. Evil music. <laughs> Thumber, at some point I need to play for you what, um, I already know how to do this. Okay, they don't need an explanation. I need to play for you, um, Seymour's Japanese voice. He sounds like the stereotypical Bishonen in every, like, 90s and 2000s anime. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Um, Yuna's by herself. She actually can get totally trashed in this area, so we're gonna go find um, Kimari first. So he should be up here, so then she's not all by her freaking self. <laughs> the only way she can, like, fight mobs is to do a summon. Um, which we're not gonna do right now, so she's actually, we're just gonna flee. See here? Yeah, escape. Yeah, it's intentional to seem unsettling. Mm-hmm. Yep, and yep, you're exactly right. Your take is perfect, Thumper. That is exactly what happens. What, why the, they have his voice and, um, and his look like that. I like Ochimaru's and him's voices. Yes, 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 yes. They have that same, like, high note to them for the same reason. Found Kimari! Yuna, I'm sorry we left you alone. It's okay, Kimari. No, it's okay. Okay, oh, before I forget, now that we have Floofy, we've got a couple of abilities we need to give him. I want to give him cheer. Just like I've been doing for everybody else. And I think he should be able to get... Yes, yes, yes. Get one of the nulls. That's probably all. That's all he can learn right now. Okay. Let's keep going north to find more friends. Which is unfair because voice does not equal appearance. Yeah! <laughs> very, very true. Um, I sound like the local MILF, and I am the local MILF. It's true, Kendra. Kendra is, um, is all of our favorite anime mom. Not the kind that dies, to clarify, because last time I told Kendra this, she was like, oh fine, I'll just die. That's not what I mean. <laughs> She's like the hot mom in the anime. <clears throat> yeah, Thumper, I mean, all that stuff is kind of like shorthand for things it's not, you know, it's not real in the same way that things like that happen in real life. It's all tropes. Those are tails. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess they could kind of look like tongues. No, they're tails. They're tails. Oh my gosh. He's gonna keep missing. They're really supposed to have Waka here, but he has a lot of Waka's accuracy because I've been taking him down Waka's path, so he should be able to get him. Dang it. Alright, well, cure him, I guess. Heal us. Eventually he's gonna get it. 
being so rude, eyeball. Just get... There we go. Yeah, but people think it. Yeah, I know, I know. People are silly. They think the tropes are real life. It's redonkulous. Okay. There's our next friend, Orin. There must be an exit somewhere. We search. Why would there be an exit in a dungeon jail where you're supposed to go die? It's so weird. Okay. That's my that's my my stupid annoying plot hole complaint about this section. It's like the only section of the game that has such an obvious weird plot hole, so it like bothers me slightly. <laughs> <laughs> um, because most of the, most of the rest of the game is just like so well crafted in the way that it um, that it handles everything and it puts everything together. So seeing uh, something like this, it just it annoys me. This is trope erasure. Kendra, <laughs> just because a trope matches you doesn't mean it's like a good idea in general. Come on now. Yes, um, as you know, definitely smash on the slime, especially the water slimes. I mean, why not? It's like, you know, it's the goo girl trope. Jeez, Kamari. Did have got him. Luckily, we have Yuna who can heal them up, even though they take forever to kill certain monsters. Without Lulu, like, the slimes just last forever and ever. Um, you can, at this point, have, like, weapons that will do, like, elemental damage. Kind of help with stuff like this, but it's just, it's so not necessary, so I don't bother. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just not worth it to me. Not worth the time to plan all that out. So I don't. I just pants it and just keep hitting him over and over. Or sometimes you can get lucky in this section and you just don't, you know, don't find a lot of slimes until you end up getting Lulu. Which we should be coming up to her next. I think she's down here? Like down here and then like off in a corner or something. Oh, it's over here. She's over here. Here. Planning. <laughs> it's okay. I know. Very beautiful. Very powerful. <laughs> oh my gosh, that TikTok. That TikTok still cracks me up every time I see it. <laughs> okay. So then... I think... Then I need to go... Here... Venom! It's going good. We're just playing some Final Fantasy. We're doing the Via Pur Purifico section. So you know the plot's getting all good and stuff at this point in the game. <clears throat> Gotta get the party back together first. You know, I feel like a lot of the um, Final Fantasy games do this where it's like at some point you have to break the party up for some arbitrary reason. <laughs> And you have to find each other again. This Final Fantasy um, does it a couple times. The Final Fantasy X does it a couple times. And it's amusing. There we go. How's it going with you, Venom? Having a good day so far? It's called Plot Can. You know what? It's called Contrived, Kendra. It's called Contrived. That's what it's called. Down here... Yeah, oh, here we go, here we go. This is what I was looking for. This guy. Okay. <clears throat> do I... I think I have to do hit it again to work. Oh my gosh. More battles. Um, they either fight and have to make up, or there's an ambush and they have to come back together. Yeah, it's an overused trip to move the story along, yes. <laughs> it very much is. <clears throat> I 
We are ragging on each other today. I like this. Yeah, it's like a, it's like just a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a fun, you know, jokey jokey jab at our friends day. It feels right today, you know. <laughs> Everything is contrived. <laughs> True, it's all contrived. I contrive my answers to my boss. <laughs> boss is boss, so he doesn't ask questions I don't like. <laughs> Pro strat thumper. Pro strat. You should always just tell your boss exactly what they want to hear with no nuance or anything else. It means blue. Alpha T, hey! Hello, streamer. How are you doing? Are, are you. I think you're new to the stream, ex streamer. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. Farewell. There we go. All dead. I just want my problematic tropes in peace, please. Me too, Kendra. Really all I want in life. Just let me be problematic. Okay, no, I just have to examine it. Okay. No, I'm gonna go here. Gucci. That is good to hear, X-Streamer. Are you actually an X-Streamer? Or is it like X-Streamer is in like, X is a cool letter? <laughs> Go ahead and save again. Okay. And then I need to go... Oops. Battle time. Battle time's Failure what I need to is do. Not an option. Like designer bags under my eyes. <laughs> New trend. New trend for uh, raccoon-eyed people. Um, put like a billion little symbols in your eye bags like a Louis Vuitton purse. Um, this is a great idea and will definitely trend, and you all should do it. I'll start. <laughs> My emotional support baggage however is Versailles. Appropriate. <laughs> That's appropriate, I think. Uh, just as the name says. Ah. I'm good, Extremer. I'm good. Just living life, you know, one day at a time. Oh, something I haven't talked about on stream because it just happened this week uh, that we can talk about. So I got my jabs finally. I got I got my Fauci ouchie. I got my shots. I am I am all I am all good to go. Um, I can't I'm not gonna infect anyone anymore or hurt anybody. Um, I can go out in public feeling safe and uh, and good to go. Um, I got the Johnson and Johnson shot. Yeah, my 5G upgrade. I got my 5G upgrade, y'all. My reception is fantastic. I don't even know. I don't even know, like, how... I know it's two weeks, Thumper. Like, freaking stop with your, like, facts and stuff. God! <laughs> I know I gotta wait two weeks. I know. I'm still gonna wear my mask anyways, just because I think it makes people feel better. But, um, but yeah. Okay, so I think... No, I go north... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a chest in here. Um, I know you are, okay? I know, and I respect that. I was just trying to be, like, fun and excited. I'm sorry, I was not being very accurate. I get it. Um, yes, I just called it a Fauci ouchie. I learned that from Kendra. But, um, I have to tell you guys, I got the Johnson Johnson shot literally the day before it got, like, cancelled because they had to look into the whole blood clot thing. Um, so I'm very glad that I did because then I only have the one and done, but I have to tell you guys, y'all, this shot put me on my ass. It put me on my ass. Like, for, I got the shot that, like, Monday morning. Monday afternoon, slept all afternoon. Tuesday, basically slept, like, all day. Um, I did not feel better until Wednesday, and my arm even still hurts ever so slightly. It is ridiculous like i've had plenty of flu shots before and i have had like little little bits of symptoms and things like that but never like this y'all never like this the side effects are no joke um i had fever i had nausea i mean i had i had it all i felt like i had like a lightning fast like two-day flu it was absolutely insane worth it no regrets um, but I, you know, I hear all the things and I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. It's a flu, it's a flu, it's whatever. It's not whatever. <laughs> I was destroyed. 
I had vaccine hangover when I woke up the next day. Yes, me too. It was ridiculous. Like I, I just, I mean, I knew it was possible, but it just never occurred to me that it would like put me on my ass that hard, you know? I was like, oh, wowie. What owie. Okay, so there's, I think I go up here to get to that glyph I just moved around. I remember correctly. I sat up and immediately felt dizzy. Yes! I was having lightheadedness and dizziness too. Like it was literally every flu symptom, like lightning fast as possible all in one day. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. So, um, no regrets though. I mean, I'm glad I did it and it's done and it's over with and I don't have to like worry anymore about, you know, the future or things like that. Um, like it's just, it's done. But, um, but yeah, oh my god. Mom and I both had over symptoms, which we usually have the same reactions to medications. So that was reassuring. Yeah, um, my husband, though, he had nothing, y'all. He had nothing. I'm so jealous. He, uh, he had no symptoms. His arm was feeling better, like, literally a couple hours later. No, no soreness. So jealous. I was so jealous. But he's usually like that. Like, he really doesn't get sick very often. Like, there's been plenty of times where me and Jeff both got a flu, and he, it, he never got around to him. He never got it. So I'm not, like, super surprised. I'm just super jealous. <laughs> um, because I had to deal with having all these symptoms. Okay. I think I go up, because I got to get past that thing right there to get the chest. Yeah. My boss had soreness, but my coworker was out of commission for two days. They both got Moderna. It's so weird. Yeah, I mean, I was basically out of commission. I had to take PTO hours on Monday and Tuesday. I still worked some, and I did I did a few things, but like I couldn't like really I couldn't do like a, a work day. Um, like I had to take a nap at lunch that lasted three hours on Monday, and like then the same thing happened on Tuesday. I basically I had to take a nap, um, and then after and then after I got back from that. I, um, oh, because I got to go down. After I got back from that nap, um, I worked it again for like another hour or two. And I was like, I can't do it. I used up all my energy again. And so I had to go take another nap. <laughs> and then I still slept through the night. Um, it was just like, it was just like ridiculous. Okay. I warp back here. And I think I can go east and I'll be back at the start. I'm really excited to see it. It's a little cheaper than some of the other options. First cost, wait. Oh, you're getting your shot on Saturday. I'm um, actually touring an apartment that might get in June. Oh, so you're doing your tour. You're doing your tour for your apartment. Oh my gosh. Thumper, I'm so excited for you. Um, I know you've been in like this current living situation that you're in for a while and uh, been wanting some better things. So um, I'm really excited for those to happen to you. I think it's it's time for them. And I think that, um, you know, it's well deserving. So I hope you do get that apartment and that, that it's, you know, meets all your expectations and your hopes and dreams and everything. I did this the wrong way. That's okay though. We're basically, we're basically done. I was just trying to be lazy and teleport back around. So I didn't have to fight any monsters, but now I can't remember exactly which way I'm supposed to step on the teleports. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, part two Saturday. I'm very excited. Yeah, good luck. Um, I would say, you know, be kind to yourself on on a Saturday afternoon and Sunday because my understanding is that second shot is really where you get all the, have all the symptoms. Which, of course, since I have the J&J, &J, there's just the one. But if you're going to have a lot of symptoms, then um, it's going to be for your second shot. Karen, can you show us the kittens on stream? So I really I can't because they're closed in another in the other room. Um, we had to make a little kitty maternity ward, but I can definitely turn on the baby cam for for Kendra. I will I will eventually like we'll have a stream where I do that. Don't you guys worry. It's just not right now. It's there's just not a good way to do it. Um, basically, one of the mama cats, Coke, does not get along with Queen and Ash. Like, and I I really we really have to keep them separated. But at some point, I'll bring all the kittens in here with the moms 
and we will do all that. Okay, there we go. Clean, well, she was there. Is she not there anymore? Yeah, she's still there. Hang on, y'all can't really see her because she's laying down. Let me go pet her real quick so that you can see her. Okay, so we got Queen on the baby cam. <clears throat> yeah, I will do at some point um, a stream where we can where we can see the kittens. It's just not going to happen today. And I do have a second camera. It's just like I don't have any kind of like wireless camera or anything like that. So it's just hard, you know. It's hard to really get a way to film the kittens for you guys. But don't worry. It has crossed my mind that y'all would want to see that, and I do plan to make it happen. Yeah, Queen loves belly rubs. Like, loves belly rubs. She is the sweetest. And that's why she's my little baby. And what are your top three tips for starting streaming? Ooh, hmm. My top three tips for starting streaming. Well, definitely my, my number one tip when it comes to starting any kind of content creation online streaming included is you need to know what it is you want to say. Like, I see so many people that just start and they, they make whatever and they do whatever and they don't really have anything in mind for like what they want to do or why or what they want to say. And so they just kind of flounder around in regards to their content. And if you don't have anything you want to say, if you don't understand like why you're starting it, then what you that's how you end up with these small streamers that just sit there and do nothing all stream and wait for like chat to entertain them instead of the other way around, right? Because they haven't really thought about what they want to say or why they're streaming. So if people aren't feeding them stuff, they have nothing to share. So, and I don't mean like you have to have like a specific message or like specific goals or anything like that. Your goal can really be as simple as come on here and play games and try to make friends. Like it can be as simple as that, but you have to have something, okay? Like. Maybe, like, like this is the way I think about it. We'll talk about streaming specifically, since that's, you know, that's the, the what we're talking about right now, what we're doing right now, is let's say that um, you are a really amazing um, Mercy player in Overwatch, right? You're just, you happen to be just, like, really good at that character. Maybe, like, the thing that you do and the thing that you're sharing with the world for your stream and your content is all of your amazing tips to play Mercy and people being able to watch like really high level Mercy gameplay, right? I'm just making it up. I don't really know anything about Overwatch. If I said anything that didn't make any sense, I apologize, but I think you'll know what I'm trying to say. So it doesn't have to be anything big. It doesn't have to be anything important. It doesn't even have to be, it doesn't have to be serious, it, but you just have to pick something because if you don't know, cause this is like, you have to think of this like art. And if you don't know what you want to say with your art, then no one's going to be interested in it because you're not expressing anything. All right, we're going to watch this cutscene. I'll do two more. It is you. Why are you here? We rode the airship to the calm lands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. <sighs> you will fight us. The temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood. Oh, he's sorry. You're a traitor. His guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Oh, no. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Oh, you know she will. She's so nice. All right, the way this fight works is he's going to summon Aeons, I'm going to summon Aeons, um, and you fight the Aeons. It's not very hard, but the one thing with this fight that's very important to know is that if he kills your Aeons, his Aeon actually can hit Yuna, and she can die, and you can get a game over here. So it is possible um, in this fight to get a game over. It seems like your it wouldn't be. Against mine. It seems like it wouldn't be, but it is. So we are going to Grand Summon... Bahamut, Luffy, 
and show off his um, his overdrive. And that will probably take out Ifrit here. <laughs> smash or pass? I mean, you know I'm smash on Ifrit. I'm definitely smash on Bahamut too, Floofy. I mean, smash. Like, look at him. Like, watch this. So badass. He's so cool. Yeah, that's, um, that one's, um, Ifrit Thumper, the, the big old, like, antler, um, werewolf looking one. Yeah, and sma smash on both of these guys, honestly. Like, smash on both. I'm here for it. The dragon and the, like, antler werewolf. Fire guy. Here we go. Mega Flare. Yeah, I agree, Thumper. Anything werewolf or werewolf adjacent, I'm, I'm always going to say smash. Most of the Aeons, though, I would say in this game are smash. Most of them. They just have really amazing designs. Really cool. Really sexy. <laughs> but I'm... <ch> <laughs> All right, and now he's gonna summon. Um, what is he summoning next? I forgot. Forgot to find out. Oh, it's Valifor, right? Yeah, he's summoning Valifor next. Um, so I'm gonna it's probably. I understand. I'm gonna summon Kisses. So here we go. This is Shiva. So if you haven't seen Shiva yet, smash or pass on Shiva. Everyone should say smash. Anybody that says pass, um, you're a liar. Okay, like, look at this lady. She's beautiful. Smash, obviously. And the reason why I like to summon Shiva, or like these elemental ones regardless, even though, I mean, I can't summon Valifor, but they can heal themselves. If I cast an ice spell on myself here, then it will heal her up. But I'm just going to basically, like, just attack until we get for um, overdrive up. I think that's the best way to do it when it comes to Valifor. Valifor is a pass because those wings are too flamboyant. <laughs> yeah, her hair is amazing, Jane, isn't it? Is that it's so beautifully decorated, too? She was just a chick. She's not a monster. Um, she's an ice lady thumper, okay? Just because she's not that monstery doesn't mean she's not a monster. She still is. Just an ice lady. <laughs> don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Okay, he's probably gonna... Yeah, he's gonna overdrive me, so I'm gonna... Lazara myself. I can heal up. Okay, so then hopefully the energy ray won't kill me. <laughs> don't be mad, Thumper. Don't be mad. Okay. It is what it is. Okay, now we can diamond dust. And I think that will kill it. That's valid, Thumper. That's valid. I understand that. Goodbye. I win again. She's bitch Elsa. <laughs> oh, I like her design way better than Elsa's design, though. Sorry, Frozen fans. <laughs> Not really. And then he's gonna summon his own Bahamut. And... I'm probably gonna summon Ifrit, because again... He can cast fire on himself and heal himself. Oh, good. I'm glad you agree, Thumper. I cannot let you. All right. So let's do. Yeah, snuggles. Like me. Sorry for the short baby cam, guys. I just heard Levi letting um re out, so. I assume Queen heard the noise and wanted to go investigate. Yeah, she says bye y'all. Maybe she'll be back. We'll see. 
Probably not this time of night, but we'll keep the camera on just in case she does come back. It's crazy this time of this time of year, you know. Um, it's like 7:45 and it's still like so light outside. It's ridiculous. This guy with the wings feels like Bad Dragon would have a tribute. <laughs> yeah, his actual name um, is not Floofy. It's Bahamut. So um, I think Bahamut's the name of one of the dragons in um, Dungeons and Dragons 2. So. I think Bahamut's like a, a dragon like in mythology as well or something like that. You're so south. Yeah, I'm super south. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, I can see that the sun's setting out there, but not not much. Okay, and here he goes. Let's see if I can survive. Baphomet? Is that like Crowley demon sort of thing? No, Bahamut. Not Baphomet. Bahamut. I can't remember the mythological origin. I mean, all of these Aeons and, like, the summons in Final Fantasy have, like, mythological origins. I can't remember the exact one for Bahamut. That is a good reason to road trip Kendra. Dang it, he killed me. Sometimes I can just barely survive that. That's okay, I have more Aeons. I have more Aeons. Let's summon Cuddles. Yeah, um, the Charleston area is really, really nice. If you like ghost tours, we have lots of those. If you like historic sites, we have a lot of um, historic sites from like the colonial era and um, from the Civil War era and things like that. So if you find that um, part of history interesting. <gasps> Katie! Smash. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Big smash, right? Big smash. <laughs> oh my gosh, Katie, what a wonderful way to make your announcement that you're here. How are you? What's going- what's up? <laughs> How are you doing today? It's just a horse. I know this one's just a horse. Still smash, though. Do I look like Catherine the Great? No, I don't think so. Probably not. Not from what not from what I understand that you look like. <laughs> right, Kendra, you could totally go to an East Coast Ren Fair on the way. Almost dead. Come on, come on. Come on, Bahamut. Just we can die. Let me win. I can tell that you're ready for it. Dang it, he mega flared. Don't kill me. I was just watching WWE, so I'm pumped for more boss fights. Oh, good, good, good. <clears throat> Karen, do you know about Catherine the Great's whole thing about horses? Um, it sounds familiar, so I probably did at one point in time, but no, I don't recall. Is that, like, a real thing? Was she, like, really actually for real into horses? I mean, I guess sometimes horse girls grow up and they're still horse girls. You know what I mean? Like, I guess sometimes that's just how it is. Alright, Kisses, come on. Finish him off. I probably should have done you a spear grip before I did this so she was slightly more powerful. But I forgot. And I didn't. Catherine the Great, Serena Legend of the Bad Bitch Squad. Yikes about the serfs. Well, you know, I mean, considering that pedigree, that makes sense. It was rumored to have done the deed with a horse. Oh boy. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I guess when you're the Serena, you get to do whatever you want. Even if it's, like, ridiculously problematic. So, that's that about that. <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> Uh, you know, rich, powerful people are crazy, so let's be real, it's probably true. <laughs> I mean, how many, like, weird stories like that about rich people do you hear, like, now, and then it turns out, oh, it was true. So, you know, that is what it is. I need someone to start this room about me posthumously. I'm on it, Jane. Now he's dead, there we go. Sorry, Asaru. I win, you lose. Because I'm the main character of this game, so.
stay away. <clears throat> Yuna, let's go. There's a way to the surface up ahead. Oh, thanks, Asaru. At least you're good for that. Your pilgrimage is over. I just realized it didn't update the sub goal when you did your your um sub refresh, Katie. Hang on, let me fix that. Will it let me just manually add one? Checking. What if I play the alert again? Smash. Smash. <laughs> uh, smash. <laughs> What if I do this? There we go. That's a fake alert. This, this is, is a test. test. But it counted, apparently, even though a real sub didn't. Whatever. Really. Anyway. <laughs> she was a woman wild about the main. <laughs> oh, no. It's amazing. Hey, Karen. Okay. Oh, we had two more tips. Okay. So, while we're doing this little bit right here, let's do the other tips. Do I need to buy anything? this amount of eye drops um so other other tips in regards to streaming besides just like knowing what content like what you want to say and like what the point is for you um the other big thing that i would say like in a technical sense is don't worry about like fancy overlays or you know excuse me getting your webcam set up perfectly or things like that like really the only technical thing that actually matters that anyone cares about is your sound quality if your sound quality is bad then like oh i have to switch his weapon if your sound quality is bad then no one is going to watch your content like it doesn't it doesn't matter like how good you are in other regards um the sound quality just really really matters so if you're going to spend any money which i don't actually recommend spending a single dime at first until you figure out if you really want to do this and if you like it but if you are going to spend any money, then spend it on a decent microphone or decent headset that's going to make you sound good. Um, that is the most important, like, bang for your buck investment you can make. Because if your sound, if your stream sounds bad, no one's going to watch, no matter how good you are, no matter how cool everything else is. That would be my tip number two for streaming. Um, my tip number three is just to practice and be patient with yourself it's it's a skill like any other and if i go back and look at my like first streams or whatever like to me like they look like garbage you know um i don't really know what i'm doing there's so much more that i know now that i'm so much better at than i was in that beginning time so that's basically my main three tips the first one is try to figure out what you want to say and why you want to stream and then the second one, if you're going to invest any money in it, it needs to be in having your sound be quality. And then the final tip is just to practice. Just to practice and, and do it and see how you like it. Um, Karen, what's the hardest thing about streaming regularly? Uh, hmm. Um, well, because it's live, it's really just like spending the time to prep beforehand, I guess is really the only hard part. Like, I don't know, streaming's not that hard for me. <laughs> but that's because, um, you know, I was, um, you know, I, I, because of my profession, I'm, I'm an educator by trade, right? Like that's what I do for a living. So getting up and standing in front of a classroom, like I've done that a gajillion times, you know, I was doing YouTube for a long time before I started streaming, so I already knew how to talk to the camera. You know, so like streaming is actually really freaking easy. What's hard is the prep. So I have to assume before a stream starts that no one's going to show up in chat and I'm going to have to do it all myself and I'm going to have to be entertaining without the live audience, you know? So I have to think about like during downtime, what do I want to say um, and stuff like that. So that's that's the hardest part. Um, you're mainly streaming people to already know, so it's not like a bajillion people you don't know. Yes, and I actually prefer that. I don't want to, um, I don't really want to be a big streamer. Like, that's, and then you can't, you can't keep up with your chat, it's crazy. Okay, so this boss fight here, this is basically a zombified version of that dragon that we fought last time. So, here's what we gotta, here's what we're gonna do. 
Here's what we're gonna do. The first thing I want to do is steal from him. Now, the way that this fight is designed, you saw on there, there was a um, special thing. You can see this trigger command, and you can do an open lock. But we're not gonna do that because there is a way easier way to to uh, to do this fight. So here we go. We are going to do two Phoenix Downs. Because he's a zombie, two Phoenix Downs are going to kill him. Oh no, I meant to hit it. Did it wrong. Ah, I didn't do the arrows. That's okay. We'll get him. Alright, because it only takes two. So, Phoenix down on him, not one of my party. There we go. On Evray. Phoenix down is code for smash. Oh, absolutely smash on this guy. Like, no question. Okay. And one more, and that should kill him. And then you don't have to go through this like open lock thing or anything like that. And if you don't do that and you just kill him fast and you don't open the locks or do any of, of that, then there's actually two chests that you get. So see, there we go, two Phoenix Downs. He is overkilled, he is gone. Yeah, definitely smash on this guy, no pass, no pass. Thank you for the hydrate, Salty. So happy for you to join us today. And that's it. Oh, we had to do all that running around, finding everybody in Yuna's section. In Titus's um, section, we literally just do two Phoenix Downs on the Zombie Evre, and we're done. That's it. Now we just gotta we just gotta get the chests and get out of here. Is his mouth tentacles? No, he just has whiskers coming out of his mouth. If you go back a couple episodes, Thumper, and look at when we fought him before he was zombified. Um, you can see him a little bit clearer, because then he's not monochrome. Hey, Karen, how do you bully your friends into co-hosting? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, Landon says yes to everything, and will take on more than she has time for. Landon, I love you if you're listening. <laughs> for I love you for this trait. So that's, um, tip number one. Your friend that always says yes, ask them first. <laughs> <laughs> and then other people will see how much fun Landon is having, and they will also want to come on the stream. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much just, you know, at that point, I, I really just ask people, like, if I have a topic that I think they would be interested in, like, I approach them. Um, sometimes I ask all the cast members. It really just depends. But uh, I just ask, and almost every time people say yes. We're so worried. It's good to have you back. <sighs> Thank you. Um, I... Uh... Uh-oh. They're here. No, they didn't, but they should've. They should've smooched. <gasps> oh no. Keenock. Why you? I have saved him. <laughs> he was a man who craved power. And great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes. Teamwork. Chased by his fears, never knowing rest. That's not a reason to kill someone. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Death is a sweet slumber. All the pain of life is gently swept away. Ah, yes. So you see, if all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Xanarkand, the lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. 
Nimoy, that's not how that works. Uh oh. Can't stab him if he's already dead, Kimari. Unpleasant. Very well. I will give you your death. You seem to want it so. Now he's transformed into zombie version. <sighs> I don't think the game's gonna let me Phoenix down him though to kill him. Run! Protect Yuna! Go! Kimari speaks it's important. No way. I'm fighting! I said go! Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait for me. Me too. I'll go too. <laughs> now Orin's the one that has to follow everyone else running off. Isn't that great? Thumper, I saw your question. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about I'm going to go ahead and Oh no, before we save, let's actually do the spear grid. Something positive that happened to me this week, um, because Thumper is drunk. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. I, I really, I, I, getting the shot, um, getting the vaccine was a really positive experience for me. The, um, the tech that did it, the pharmacy uh, person, nurse, whatever she was, that did it was really, really nice. Um, helped ease some fears because, you know, it's nerve wracking. You hear like so much crazy news about all this stuff going on. So um, she was able to explain like, you know, she had done so many of these and she hadn't had any sort of issues with anybody and everything had been fine and smooth. And, um, you know, it really helped because getting a shot is still stressful and with everything going, you know, with all the news and stuff going on about this, it was it was a little nerve wracking. So um, and I know she was just doing her job like she wasn't doing anything by like just being nice. <laughs> and uh and helping ease our fears but uh but she was you know um because i'm sure she sees that kind of thing people nervous and stupid questions over and over again all day every day and i'm sure it gets exhausting for her too so that's it that's something i think that was that was nice that happened this week that was a good question thank you <laughs> all right get what is this spell over here that she's about to get? Oh, Demi, nice. Yeah, she was really good. Okay, then we're gonna save so that everybody's healed. Now they give you this um, strip here, and you can run along this and like level up some if you want to. I'm not gonna do all that. I'm just gonna go straight to see more. Oh, and you can buy stuff from Milwaukee. I don't think I need anything. I don't think I need anything. Maybe some more hot potions. Can't hurt. We've got plenty of everything else. But... Traitor or not, Lady All right. <clears throat> friend to a walker. Yeah, Jane, you're here like at all the most dramatic parts. <laughs> uh, but I guess you haven't seen a lot of the lead up to this, but um you can, like it's still like on my channel and everything, so you can you can see it. <laughs> if you want to see like what happened in the story. 
And yes, Thumper, I disabled that bot. It was only like sometimes getting the actual bots and like all the time like bonking you. So like fuck that thing, it didn't work. <laughs> How do you even manage to bitch about a vaccine? It's like a five minutes of interaction. Oh, my stepmom's a nurse that generally works in dialysis center, but she's giving vaccines for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Oh, I see the bitch comment. My neighbor gave me my second dose and she was such a bitch about it. Like, what? <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. I'm sorry you had that experience. Yeah, our nurse was very, very nice. No complaints. She was nice and cool and, um, and did her best and everything. And we both got our jabs and it was all good. Okay, let's save again. Ah, freaking... I don't want to do these fights. On, I don't want to do these. I don't need to level up. I know how to do the Seymour fight. Okay. Let's save. Yes, so that I'm all healed up. Alright, here we go, here we go. It's okay, come 4th of July with my cowboy caviar again. Oh! What is Cowboy Caviar? Okay, so you've got a couple people that can do trigger commands where they can talk to him, so of course, just like before, we want to do that. So, you two seek freedom from this painful life? You talk too much, Seymour. Yeah, you talk too much. Alright, she can talk to him too. It's just corn and beans. Oh. I didn't mean to push the button, I cut him off. Oh well, he don't even talk anyway. Alright, so here's how you do this fight. You don't use the nulls like we did before, even though he's going to do the same thing. You can see he's doing the multi-blizzard and all that awfulness. Um, just like he did before. But we're actually not going to do that. So first, thing, first things first is we need to get bio cast on him because he actually is susceptible to poison. So we definitely want to cast bio on him. You don't want to buff everyone too much, so you don't want to use those nulls. Because if you use too many buffs, like if everybody in the party has the same buff, then he does this like Desperado, which dispels everything and you lose like all of the progress on doing that. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to do everybody's overdrives. There we go. Yeah, that sounds really good, Jane. That sounds really, really good. Okay, so she doesn't have... But she already talked, so that's fine. Okay, let's get Riku in here. The Riku is going to be our main healer for this fight. Because her Albed potions are OP. Okay. We're going to get her hasted up. Dang it. That was very rude of you, Seymour. That was very, very rude of you. Um, he's gonna need a phoenix down. Yeah. Come back. Okay. So let's do. Let's switch you out for Orin and do his overdrive. Oh, he has a trigger command too. Well, let's do that first, and then he can Bushido. Although he was not the man I once knew, Kinok was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death. That's right. It's good to be loyal to your friends, Orin. Alright, and then use bed potion. Okay, can we get around to Titus now without him dying so he can feast her up? Horn is so gay, was that ever a question? <laughs> yeah, I think he definitely is. Um, and that's definitely a thing in the fandom that I have seen in the past. Okay. Aced her. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and then basically the bio on him is really what's going to destroy him. And then I just keep kind of going with that. Well, actually, since she has an extra turn now, let's steal from him. What does he have? Ooh, Tetra Elementals. That's good. And then you just kind of keep Albed potioning and using overdrives and attacking him. 
especially in this phase where he's just doing the multis, but there's just no point in using the nulls because he's just going to dispel them anyways, and you want to keep that haste on Riku. Um, let's go ahead and do her overdrive, though. Let's mix... Let's mix some Arctic Winds and Antarctic Winds. Icefall. She looks like she has to pee. <laughs> Maybe she does, you know? Maybe, like, she didn't want to get into this fight so quickly and it just kind of happened that way. <laughs> okay, let's do Shooting Star on him. I always have to glance down at the controller like a freaking noob. <laughs> Alright, so we don't need Titus anymore. We can do... Let's do Kimari's Overdrive. And Seed Cannon. That Shattering Claw can be really detrimental if anybody ends up getting um, stoned, which is something he can do. Yeah, so he's gonna stone them and then like the Shattering Claw is gonna come out and kill him. But because I have Riku Hasted and we're using Albed Potions for our heals, that's gonna cure his petrification as well as heal everybody up. So that's how you do this fight, so it's super OP. I feel like this boss villain will, will be way more smashable with a better color scheme like orange and black or something bolder. I don't know. I feel like purple's a very a very villain color. Um, so I don't know. Can I steal from this the morbidity? Oh, there's nothing to steal. Okay. <laughs> I guess the answer is no. Okay, let's do Waka's overdrive. Go. It's an abundance of gray with the dull purple. Yeah, I guess the purple is kind of dull. It could have been a better purple. That is probably true. Alright. Let's heal again. Okay, we're in the flare time now. You really don't do anything different here. It's just instead of the multis, he's going to use flare, which only hits one person. Um, but it can kill them. It's a pretty powerful spell. So... Hopefully it won't kill anybody. And this is why the bio is so important in this phase, because the thing will heal him. So if you don't have bio on him, um, it can be kind of a challenge. All right, so let's actually get Lulu in here and do her overdrive. We'll do, we'll do a Blizzara. Feels appropriate for Seymour. Ice, ice, baby. Ding, 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 ding. Never get higher than like six or seven on that. Even with the circle technique. Alright. And get Riku back in here so that she can heal everybody up. Lulu is pretty low there. That's not very nice for her. Do I want to haste up somebody else, too? I think I do. I think I want to haste on Lulu as well. As long as I don't do all three, then he shouldn't do the Desperado thing. Don't kill Titus. Oh, good, 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 good. That's right, go for Orin. He has the most HP. That's the best one to do. <clears throat> I know, you've got immunities to his abilities, that's fine. Get Riku back in to heal up. If the headpiece was spaced a little more from him and a bit bigger, it would look more like he was attached to something rather than having a very heavy weave. <laughs> Maybe they want it to look like he has a very heavy weave. Maybe he does have a very heavy weave, and that's just, like, his thing. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is these are Final Fantasy villains. Their their designs are always really special. <clears throat> Let's see. 
I don't really need healing right now, but we can use something else. Let's use have anything that's going to do a lot of damage. I think a... How much would a bomb? Oh, that's not bad. You just want to keep damaging him through this because you don't want him to get healed back up too much. Because that's when you can get in real big trouble. But we have that bio. Oh, there we go. And he's done. If you bio him this and don't um, buff too much, this fight is very easy. But if you buff too much, this fight can be a bitch. Okie dokie. We escaped with our skins intact, but Yuna lost something. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do or say something, anything. But nothing came. I was just as lost as she was. And then... Well? We're all clear. We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yeah. Yuna? Said she wanted to be alone. Of course. Okay, so... What time is it? We only have about 15 minutes. I think that there's more than 15 minutes of stuff before we get to the next way at place I can save. So we're actually going to go ahead. For Yuna. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him. Oh, well, we can go ahead and talk to we them before I save. If Yuna figures out where we're going, that is. I feel kind of bad leaving everything up to her, you know? Well, she's a summoner. <sighs> Maybe you should talk to her. I am tired. Aww. I am tired. Wonder what you will do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? Oh no. That's what you want, right? Well if oh my gosh. Really wants to keep going, then Are you peer pressuring I me? I guess I shouldn't stop her, you know? That's what I think anyway. That's kind of true, Rika. I wonder if there's a way to perform the final summoning and not die. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Let's start thinking about it. I guess someone would have thought of it in the last thousand years, huh? I mean, sure, but why not now? Maybe you should go talk to Yuni. Yuna's off in the woods. Kumari's with her, but maybe you should go too. Okay. I think it might help. If you were there. Hint, 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 hint. <sighs> it would be so easy to fight without thinking. Walk a straight line. So easy. Thumper, you should find it if you mouse over the um, actual Twitch stream itself. I had to move it. So it should, if you mouse over, you'll see an icon there. <sighs> it would be so easy to fight without thinking. Walk a straight line. So easy. Okay. All right. All right. We'll keep going then till the next save point. Oh my gosh. I don't want to talk to Waka. I just want to save. I am. Let me get I to am. this. I want to do the save sphere. There we go. All right. All right. We'll, we'll do this. So before, before we get to that cutscene, though, that I was telling y'all about, we have to watch the cutscene. This is the cutscene of the game. Y'all know how it is. Are you ready for it? Game. <laughs> this cutscene is actually very straight. <laughs> Here we go. I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. Maybe... 
You're trying too hard. They told me. Everything. Everything? Well, so then, you know. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, he knows now, you know. It's just, you know, all those things I said. Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. Yeah, he wasn't sad. <sighs> Yuna! Just don't do it. The pilgrimage? Uh, uh, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all of that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? His scenery is so beautiful. Maybe I will. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He deserves it. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Mm. Hey, Xanarkin! Let's go to Xanarkin! Uh? uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh, That's a great idea, Ty. Uh, yeah, we can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. And then we could see Blitzball. That's right! Your Xanarkand Abes would play? Yeah! We could all watch you play, in a stadium all lit up at night. I'd cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on! Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem! Xanarkand never sleeps! Yeah, it's fun all the time. Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. It's really... pretty. I know you'd like it. Mm. I'd like to see it. Someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go.
Sad. Now we get a real cut scene. Oh, the main cutscene of the game. How long can they hold their breath? There's a lore reason for that, Beans. There is a lore reason for that. I'll continue. I must. Mm. If I give up now, I could do anything I wanted to. And yet, even if I was with you, I could never forget. I'll go with you. What? I'm your guardian. Unless I'm... Fired. <laughs> Stay with me until the end, please. Not until the end, always. Always, then. Mari just stand guard quietly. Maybe you should head back to camp first. Roger. All right. All right, we got to go quick, quick, guys. My husband said he has something to tell me. I got to get to the next save point really fast. I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait. 
We might just do Pokemon at the beginning of the next stream. Life has been crazy, y'all. I'm sure it's something important. Probably Jeff related, so probably important. Um, Sir Oren, Waka, Lulu, Kamari, Riku. Everyone, we leave at dawn. Okay. And... I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And I'm... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Good night. <laughs> sorry, Thumper. Okay, I just saw the autosave um, pop up. We're actually going to stop there. I'm very sorry, Thumper. We're not going to be able to watch the orange scene, but um, something important's come up, so I got to go handle that. We'll let this play out. Okay. All right, let's switch back to webcam only. Okay, I'm sure it's fine. It's probably just important, but um, I hope it's good news too. So, okay, so we'll do Pokemon at the beginning of the next Thursday stream. Um, so at the beginning of the next Thursday stream, we'll do Pokemon at the beginning and at the end so that we can still keep up with that. Um, so don't worry, you won't miss out on any of that. We'll just do that. Uh, make sure that you come to uh, Wednesday's Inner Stage Window. We're going to be talking about how to recover after you've messed up. So on the heels of our online abuse episode, we're going to be talking about like if you make a mistake, you know, if you do some of those behaviors or if even if it's a little mistake, that's not like an abusive behavior or anything. Um, how do you recover? How do you recover after you messed up? And next Thursday, on artistic license we are going to be doing a sims 2 test stream so because y'all voted and you want to see sims 2 next on inner stage window i'm going to be taking you guys through the way that i play pleasant view in the sims 2 rotationally and um, we're going to play that just to see kind of how sims 2 does on stream so that uh, we can make sure that that's all going to work great for inner stage window so if y'all love the sims come next um next time for uh, some Sims 2 gameplay in Pleasant View. And then after that, of course, we'll pick right back up with Final Fantasy. So thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. I'm going to go ahead and end it so that I can go get this news. And um, thank you for your well wishes. I see all of those in there. And uh, and yeah, I will see you guys on Saturday. Thank you all so much. Bye. Oh, wait. Actually, not bye. I have to find someone to raid. I keep... I was so... I was so um, focused on getting off. I forgot about that. Let's find somebody real quick so that y'all have some entertainment after I'm going. Oh, Venom, who was just here, is playing Final Fantasy Yay, while they're playing Katie! Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Katie. Uh, they're playing Final Fantasy. What does this look like? 15. They're playing 15. Okay, let's go raid Venom. Y'all tell him that I had to go, so I'm not there, but um, I appreciate him. Raid Venom. There we go. Okay, we're counting down. All right, y'all don't forget to make it a great day. I will see you later. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Have fun. Have fun watching um, Final Fantasy 15. <laughs>